With the amount of people buying hand sanitizer, it's clear that very few people understand health in general, let alone that germ theory is exactly what it is, a theory. It's not necessarily proven. Now, the Toyota Corolla is a distraction for many other things going on in the world, and V-I-R-U-S-E-S's aren't actually transmissible between people unless they were artificially created or, you know, put into you somehow. But there are still some important things to learn here about hygiene. And before we get started, if you guys want to tune into my future live streams, they will be on my new YouTube channel, Frank Tufano. <laughs> so you guys can subscribe over there to get notified. We'll be doing the same schedule, Tuesday, Thursday night, as well as Saturday, we'll start doing some gym workout live streams. You don't want to miss that, boys. Bacteria in the modern media is almost always viewed as bad. You know, you have the clean freaks and germaphobes that are spraying bleach and sanitizer on everything, thinking that it's actually good. What most people don't understand is that you have different types of bacteria, different types of yeast and molds, good and bad. And without enough of the good bacteria or more so the proper ratio of bacteria, the bad bacteria can grow to dangerous amounts. And even if you eliminate all of the bad bacteria, it will always come back unless the proper healthy bacteria is established. Why do you think the media is telling you to wash your hands, to sanitize everything? It weakens your immune system, you end up getting sick, and the medical industry makes a ton of money through medications, doctor's visits, whatever it may be. Healthy people don't make the whole system any money. Imagine how much these companies making bleach and sanitizer are making right now, or just even in general. You know, my family always has a stockpile of these chemicals in their basement. It's preposterous. Not only what they are doing, but how much money they spend on a yearly basis, probably thousands of dollars, and there are healthier, natural, cheaper alternatives. This applies to pretty much any part of our body. Of course, our gut microbiome, our underarms, our private parts, scalp, mouth, hands, every single part of our body is meant to have a certain bacterial profile. And I'm sure you guys have noticed, you know, certain parts of your body smell differently. The underarm has a particular smell, the saliva has a particular smell. And when you have off smells from other people, like someone's breath smells bad, or perhaps they smell good. When you use modern hand sanitizers, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, pretty much anything to clean your body, you're displacing that natural biome on your hands, on your body, on your hair. It's why I make my own toothpaste and deodorant on Frankie's Naturals. The reason someone gets sick from any sort of pathogenic bacteria is because that specific person does not have an established healthy microbiome. The issue can be caused by over sanitizing and not allowing your body to build up a healthy biome. When you do get sick, it's a combination of this in addition to an inflammatory lifestyle. You know, when you're damaging your cells with poisonous food, pollutants in the water and air, and not giving your body enough nutrients, it's no wonder people are getting sick. The environment we're in right now, cooped up in our homes, eating crappy, processed, preserved foods, grains, rice, pasta, beans, not exercising, not getting any sunlight, getting blasted with Wi-Fi devices, super stressed out, not sleeping well. It's a perfect environment for people to get sick. It's very clear to see how they're orchestrating this. Put people in an environment where their bodies can't deal with inflammatory factors and blast them with Wi-Fi. All of this is pretty obvious as FLU season is in the colder months of the year. You know, when people are outside, in the sun, exercising, eat or fresher foods, they're healthier and our bodies are able to fight off any negatives. But we have been fooled into creating an environment where we will make ourselves sick regardless of any made up concoction. On top of this, all of these sanitizing products have harmful chemicals that can leach into our bloodstream and cause adverse effects. You know, who else has their family members completely bleach their bathroom and you feel like you're dying. You're literally inhaling toxic fumes. It causes inflammation, you know, disrupting the good bacteria in various parts of the body, even altering your hormonal function. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers don't have some of these chemicals, but they have the downside of the alcohol. Your body is absorbing the alcohol at very high rates through the skin, and very severe health effects have been seen, including vomiting, cough, abdominal pain, seizure, hypoglycemia, and respiratory distress. Hmm, those symptoms sound awfully similar to what's spreading. What's really going on? So using hand sanitizer and over sanitizing your environment in general 
can result in a weaker immune system, exposure to toxic chemicals, hormone disruption, alcohol poisoning, all things to make the population unhealthier and companies a lot of money. But what's new? My suggestion to you guys is to watch my immune boosting video the other day where you will learn everything you need to in order to stay healthy during this time. If you need a natural hand sanitizer, I think iodine is great. Uh, you should be able to find some pharmaceutical grade or medical grade iodine online. Uh, not only are you going to avoid any harmful chemicals, you know, many people are deficient in iodine and it does absorb transdermally. You know, it counters many harmful halogens in our lifestyle today, such as fluoride and chlorine. So thank you guys for joining me. As I said earlier, I'll link the new YouTube channel, Frank Tufano, down in the description below. If you guys do want to support me further, Frankie's Free Range Meat is full steam ahead, guys, providing you with high quality animal foods. Uh, we also have organ supplements where if you don't have access to organs or you're not in the States, you can get that as well. Uh, Frankie's Naturals for the minimal ingredients and minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And you can go to frank for a free carnivore diet meal plan and to learn the top five carnivore mistakes. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.